A six-year-old girl has bullet fragments in her cheek after a neighbor opened fire on her and her parents. Why would such a scumbag do that? Well, because her basketball rolled into his yard. Kinsley White, the six-year-old, and other neighborhood children were playing on their street Tuesday evening in Gaston County, North Carolina, when her neighbor, Robert Louis Singletary, 24 years of age, snapped over the stray ball. He got that angry about a basketball rolling into his yard that he got a gun, chased, and started shooting at a six-year-old girl. Started shooting at a six-year-old girl and her parents. He struck all of them. He was yelling, I'm going to kill you, over a basketball rolling into his yard. What is wrong with this absolute weirdo? Robert Louis Singletary, 24 years of age, has no emotional control, gets hell-bent on attempting to murder a child and her parents for I'm going to say absolutely nothing. A ball rolling into his yard momentarily. William, the father, was attempting to, to distract the neighbor so that the other children could get away, at which point William, the father, was struck in the back by a bullet. He currently remains in the hospital. So I'm going to say William, the father, is an absolute hero. I would imagine most or many fathers would act in exactly the same way, which would still be an heroic way. He tried to save all of the children. He tried to distract the neighbor he went straight to the neighbor hey scumbag weirdo psychopath if you're going to start taking your aggression out with a gun you leave those children alone you take it out on me that's an heroic action and for that he was able to save the children kinsley his daughter six years of age has bullet fragments lodged in her cheek the other children thankfully were unharmed his wife kinsley, kinsley's mother was also grazed by bullets but unharmed as far as i understand but he himself william white the father was struck in the back by a bullet and is currently in hospital. I'm not aware of a GoFundMe, but I suspect that there is one. If you're in a position to donate, please give that some consideration. We're told that Kinsley's mother, her name Ashley Hildebrand, was outside and she heard the scumbag neighbor make a threat to her family members. Here's a quote from the mother. He looked at my husband and my daughter and told them, I'm going to kill you. The scumbag then chased them while shooting. He allegedly kept firing until his gun had run out of bullets. I'm going to throw in a comment here about gun control and I'm no expert about gun control. I live in Australia. I grew up in England. I don't think I'm particularly well placed to have genius ideas in regards to gun control. I generally support the second amendment and one major reason that I do support the second amendment is because you already have so many guns, hundreds of millions of guns in America. Criminals have very easy access to guns so to me it makes sense to legally allow your law-abiding citizens to be able to protect themselves against criminals that almost certainly will have guns should they want to have guns. So I am pro second amendment Amendment, but I have to say that we're lucky that he ran out of bullets. We're lucky that he didn't have an extended magazine. I presume he didn't have an extended magazine. I guess we could say that's kind of academic. He could have had multiple guns. He could have had multiple clips, but I don't know. I just think these small things about banning certain elements, certain modifications to guns, it can only help. I don't know. Anyway, those are some muddled thoughts. Back to the article. The grandmother of Kinsley said, I believe he would have got me and my my husband too he just ran out of bullets so yeah i think i understand and i think i agree with the grandma here this guy this psychopath robert louis singletary absolutely lost his g damn mind presuming he had one in the first place and went on an absolute psychopathic rampage for no good reason at all a basketball rolled onto his yard that's not a good reason sorry buddy and he wanted to kill anyone he could the definition of snapping so it is a blessing that he did run out of bullets it's a blessing that kinsley's father William White acted in a heroic way put himself in the line of fire literally shot in the back in the interest of protecting the children but ultimately we're very very lucky these guys are very very lucky that the scumbag in question Robert Louis Singletary ran out of bullets we're told that neighbors have said that Singletary was new to the neighborhood and he was already known for getting upset with the local children so he was a Grinch he is a Grinch fair enough we can all be pretty grumpy we see plenty of Karen videos on the internet 
typically middle-aged women, not always, but typically middle-aged women getting upset for this reason, that reason, claiming outrage. You know, we've seen that a thousand times, but shouting at a 12-year-old that's skateboarding somewhere that they're not supposed to be skateboarding is one thing, and then starting shooting at children and parents is quite obviously a total different scenario. So we're told that the shooter, Singletary, fled the scene, but he did turn himself in once he had traveled approximately 600 miles away. So he handed himself in to Tampa, Florida police late Thursday evening, which is around 600 miles from the incident, which is in Gastonia. The shooter has been charged with four counts of attempted first degree murder, two counts of assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill, and possession of a firearm by a felon. Oh look, he's a felon. What a surprise. Additional charges are likely because shots entered neighbors' homes. So I'm going to say that I'm happy with these charges. Four counts of attempted first degree murder, two counts of assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill, inflicting serious injury. He deserves those charges. They seem to be pretty strict charges, if that's the right word, and he may face more charges. So I think the authorities of North Carolina are doing the right thing here. So as I say, he has handed himself in. So he fled the scene, drove around 600 miles to Tampa, Florida, then saw sense and handed himself in. But as we say, he is a felon and he was previously cited for attacking his girlfriend with a mini sledgehammer. So we're told of a domestic incident which took place December 2022 in which the alleged shooter Robert Louis Singletary allegedly hit his 21 year old girlfriend in the back of the head with a mini sledgehammer. He also forced his girlfriend to remain in the apartment even though she was bleeding profusely from the back of the head. So she was kept there for at least two hours. She was claiming that she wasn't well she was feeling dizzy bleeding profusely from the head yeah that would make sense to feel dizzy after being hit in the head with a mini sledgehammer look i'm not an expert with tools we know what sledgehammers are they're big birdie things that smashes rocks literally what's a mini sledgehammer well it's a smaller version of that it's basically a hammer which is going to do serious damage you hit somebody in the skull the back of the head with a mini sledgehammer you're liable to create a hole and i can only imagine that's exactly what happened given that the 21 year old girlfriend was bleeding profusely from the back of her head after being struck so she was forced to remain in the apartment why well she had to clean up all of the blood she was told to by Singletary she was forced to stay there and clean up she was forced for at least two hours before she was able to get medical treatment now the shooter was charged with assault in regards to that domestic violence injury and he was given a $250,000 bond but he's back on the streets able to shoot at kids and their parents because he he made bond. So he had a $250,000 bond for hitting his girlfriend in the back of the head with a mini sledgehammer, but he gets back on the streets. So I've got to say that a $250,000 bond, that's a high bond. It's not a small amount of money, $250,000. But seemingly where the issues lie is that in America, and I understand that it's different for different states, but in America, general, generally speaking, those that are detained, those that are arrested, those that are charged, those that are prime suspects of serious crimes, including murder, including attempted murder are able to make bond should they or someone on their behalf be able to pay a certain percentage of the bond amount which is typically between 10 to 20 percent so in this case if he's given a two hundred fifty thousand dollar bond that's a lot of money but twenty five thousand dollars ten percent of two hundred fifty thousand dollars that's going to be achievable by some people it's quite possible that singletary had that money himself especially if he was involved in gang activity especially if he was a criminal he's a felon he acts in these ridiculously psychopathic ways i would not be surprised if he's a career criminal perhaps he does have that kind of money floating around underneath his mattress perhaps his friends family fellow gang members should he be in a gang have that kind of money so to me your bond system is flawed and it's not just america a lot of countries i know england i know australia they have similar systems bails bonds i don't know all the intricacies of them but fundamentally if you have the money you can get out back on the streets why would you want the scumbag back out on the streets? Oh, well, he hasn't gone through a trial yet. Perhaps he's innocent. We shouldn't hold him against his will until he's gone through a trial. F that. Allegedly, he struck 
a 21 year old woman his own girlfriend in the back of the head with a mini sledgehammer why would you let him free why would you do that how does that help anybody how does that tell society that authorities are treating such crime seriously it's allowed him to go on a rampage and shoot at a six-year-old girl and her parents he shot kinsley's father in the back he's still in hospital it's believed that he would have continued shooting other children other adults in the area in the immediate vicinity if he hadn't have run out of bullets this is not the kind of scumbag that anyone would want on the streets so please review your bond system but there are a few blessings here kinsley does have bullet fragments in her cheek but that's not life-threatening hopefully the fragments will be removed hopefully the scars will subside hopefully she's going to be able to cope with the trauma of being in this situation playing a game of basketball with her friends and then being shot at by the neighbor hopefully she's going to be able to recover from that hopefully the other children the other adults will too hopefully of course her father pulls through and is able to make a full recovery thankfully kinsley's mother i believe she was grazed by a bullet but she is unharmed and the blessing really is that nobody was killed so far presuming that the husband does survive the father does survive william white so it could have been far worse so there is a blessing there I'm going to wrap things up at this point. If you appreciate the coverage, if you appreciate the commentary, please do like, comment, subscribe, share the video as you see fit. If you'd like to support me by joining my memberships, that would be very much appreciated. I'm still currently at a grand total of zero members. It would be nice to get one or two, maybe three or four even. I'm going to be carrying on making multiple videos. Not quite sure how many I'll be able to do. Some days I'm able to pump out a lot. Other days I'm not. I get a little bit overwhelmed from time to time. But I am looking to have a successful YouTube channel and I I know that that's going to take a lot of time, a lot of work, a lot of effort and a lot of improvements. So I'm putting the effort in and I think over time this is going to be a pretty good channel. So please do stick around. Thanks for listening. Take care.